Hello, hello, hello. This is your message from the universe for January 18th, 2021. This is the rune Nathis. Now, Nathis is the rune of constraint, necessity, and pain. And I know that we are all exhausted in this space of constraint, necessity, and pain. We feel like we have been doing this with these energies for a very long time and it feels like we just sometimes we just can't do anymore and yet this is the space for us to make changes this is the space for us to look at ourselves to clearly see those spaces in us that need help that need changing that need shifting those spaces in us that need healing this judgment card speaks about the judgment of self but not judgment as in right or wrong good or bad it is objective judgment of the pain that we go through so that we can heal it it's objective judgment of our motivations for abundance of our motivations for what we're doing rather than just surviving what will it take for you to live now, for some of you on this card, you'll notice it's an Egyptian card. And this Ankh here is important for some of you. Not all of you, but for some of you, this Ankh being held by this cute little kitty is going to spark something in you. So if you felt something towards that, do a little bit of research. And the reason I say do research is not to educate yourself. Like we hear from people a lot. And you can look it up yourself. Educate yourself. You need to know more. No, no, no. I believe that often when we go looking for something because we are prompted by the universe, that the universe will go out of its way to put that information in front of us or to pay attention to this when it kind of triggers something or sparks something in our mind. Maybe you'll notice it on a, a building or in a, in a music video or a friend will be wearing that as a necklace or perhaps you'll see it in a TikTok video, or you you can look up the word onk on Google and it'll lead you in a completely different direction. Everybody is going to look it up and get something different. Everybody is going to encounter something a little bit different when they go searching. Research doesn't mean find out what everyone else is learning. For me, when I say research, I mean open yourself to what the universe wants you to learn. It could be you see the onk on the side of a building and you go inside and they have something that you've been interested in or it's for something you never even considered being a possibility for you. Who knows? I mean, it could be anything because there's many different people watching this. So they're all going to get something different out of it. So that onk is for you specific person out there, <laughs> specific person or people out there. Um, but it is about looking at ourselves within this space and not judgment in a good or bad, right or wrong, but from an objective point of view. The Nathis speaks specifically about not taking pain and constraint personally. Do not take your setbacks personally. Do not take your obstacles personally. They're not happening to you. They're happening for you. And this is how you progress is through this examination of what you are going through. And know that when fishermen cannot fish, they don't sit around and cry that they can't fish. They repair their nets. And that is what we are meant to be doing right now. In the spirit, in the spiritual realm, everything is going according to plan. In the human realm, things seem very chaotic. And we may not be able to make sense out of them, but it is up to us to make sense out of ourselves and our reaction to that, not the actions of others. You may never understand why someone else chooses to do this thing or that thing, A or B, but we can recognize their divine spark. We can recognize that they're going through their own version of learning and awakening and growing and experiencing the world. And we can hold Empathy for those people that are going through that turmoil and that upheaval and send love. It's not an easy thing. 
especially when we have anger in our hearts. But if we have anger, these are the things that we are supposed to be looking at. If something that is happening in the outside world causes you anger, causes you pain, makes you lash out, makes you moody, if it affects your mood in any way, then it's a space in you that needs healing. This is not an easy time to be in, but it is exciting. And it is an honor to be incarnated during this big shift in our world. You are beloved, you matter, and you are so very loved.